we'll have some kids that'll play for that'll spend a lot maybe three years playing a lot of video games you know but for a while in the beginning because we didn't always have the video games because there weren't always video games no you know and so they no, were a, a new innovation yeah. for a yeah. while yeah and there was a lot of discussion in the school meeting about you know how this activity could be done in a way that didn't negatively impact other people yeah. and that the people who were interested in doing it had to make a case for the fact that this yeah. could be done without negatively yeah. impacting other people. We have a video game corporation, mm -hmm. you know, that that has a space and they've made these rules for, you know, how people can bring in a video game system and where they can put it and, and how, you know, the turns are regulated on it. Every so often it gets shut down, you know, because of some kind oh, of, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, because mostly because they're not keeping it clean, uh -huh. you know, because a corporation okay. yeah. has a policy of, you know, yeah. having to make sure the area is kept clean and yeah. everything. And yeah. if it's not, you know, the school meeting might shut them down, yeah. you know, and then the corporation's got to meet and they've got to discuss the problem and figure out ways of solving it. You yeah. know, there was a problem for a little while of things being stolen from up there, you know, and they talked about it a lot and they came up with a system of recording. Yeah you know, serial numbers yes, and labeling yes, things and all yes. of this other stuff, you know, so that it was less easy to, uh, you know, to just steal things. You do not limit time, you no. do not limit nope. violence, you do not limit None anything. of that stuff. You have no boundaries set. Nope. No, well, the boundaries set are that, you know, first of all, it's in this room. We only have... And we Second only of all, your behavior has to be reasonable. You know, I mean, you yeah. can't... If you say, you know, I broke the chair or I hit this guy or whatever because I was playing a violent video game, it's like, no, no, you're responsible. You know, if you can't play violent video games without going crazy, mm -hmm. then you can't, you know, that's not an excuse. Yeah. One of the things that's um, notable about the video game playing is that, that in general, they play in groups. You know, there's a couple people playing, a bunch of people watching. Yeah. In general, these are people who are not very comfortable with their social skills. Mm -hmm. And together... They can work on very rudimentary social interaction yeah. in an environment that's not threatening. And what happens is they play and they talk about video games and they, you know, expand from talking about video games to talking about other things, yeah. you know, and they have to come down to the main building usually during the day because yeah. you're not allowed to eat food in the barn where the video game area is. Yeah. And so they come down. Yeah. There are other kids that are not nearly so intensely involved with video games that come in sometimes you know and so they're kind of a bridge between the rest of the community and the kids in the video game stall you know and over time <coughs> they learn to interact obviously the heart of the video game culture mm -hmm. you know is probably 10 year old boys mm -hmm. you know and that by the time they get to be 11 or 12 or 13 or 14 they develop a, a major new interest, which is girls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and they start talking about girls, you know, among each other, you know, and you see them starting to spend a little more time down in the main building, and you see them starting to pay a little bit more attention to their personal hygiene, you know, and they start taking showers and washing their hair and, you know, all these other things, you know, and then they spend more time in the building and they get involved in other conversations that are going on. And... You know, then later on, when they're all grown up, you know, and they're writing their thesis to graduate, they talk about how they were, you know, they were terribly shy, and their only refuge was to go up to the video game yeah. stall and play video games, yeah. and that they write about this whole process. Addiction yeah. is a, a very fundamental human problem, yeah. you know, and yeah. it's possible to become addicted to all kinds of different things yeah. that we don't normally consider addictions, but, you know, yeah. you know and that to, to deal with that yeah. question, you know, over something like a video game, mm. it, it, it's actually less harmful than many other things that you could of become course. addicted to later on. Yeah. They well, talk about it all do. the time. Yes, these kids, right. these kids are video game experts. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that's the thing yeah, about it. They don't reflect. Do they reflect upon the fact they are playing the game? And they, they train. They talk about it. They get experts. Yeah, they get they better do, every because time, they hear it all the time. They're mm -hmm. always hearing from yeah. relatives, hey, from parents and everything else. Yeah. Video yeah. games are bad for yeah. you, you know, and they're sitting there and they're going, what do you think? Are video games really bad for us? Yeah. You know, I don't know. You know, no, so-and-so, look at him, health. man, he's it's a case. A and a good video game is actually an amazing intellectual training device. Yeah. You know, I mean, people, you know, you wouldn't think the people who, who sat down and solved 
logical or mathematical puzzles, you know, were, were frying their brains, you know. But in fact, well-designed video games, so, which are the kind which are, tend to be very popular, you know, often are, you know, that's right. So, video games are very frightening to parents now because very few parents have a lot of experience playing video games. Yep. You know, um, you know. I, one thing I use with, with people in the United States all the time is, you know, that would you be really upset if your child was obsessed with baseball? Yeah. You know, and they yep. think to themselves, no, that's no, not no, so bad. No, 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 I was no. pretty obsessed with baseball. Yeah. When yeah, I, you correct. know, yeah. and it's like, you know, and yes, there are differences. Maybe if you're obsessed with baseball, you're, you know, you're out playing and running around. But, you know, a lot of kids are obsessed with baseball that watch it. Yeah. And they go over the statistics yeah, yeah. and they study the, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. All, all these other things. And they're not really all that athletic. Yeah, or model building or whatever. That's right. Yeah. You know, yeah. is that so terrible? No. You know, and they would think about it and they would go, I spent a lot of time doing that. But, you know, that was only for a period of my life. And yeah. then I got out of it, you know, and it didn't, you know, not only do I feel like it didn't harm me, but I also learned certain valuable things from yeah. it, you know.